patterns do not always repeat themselves, but you do want to pay special attention to ones that have in the past and anticipate at least the possibility. So that's what I'm looking at uh, in the case of crude because I've been using this symmetry for quite some time to call um, some of these rallies back here, you know, where we just had symmetry with some of these other prior declines within the uptrend and then we did see a nice rally and then the same thing happened over here when we had a nice pullback into symmetry and you saw a rally to the 1272 target and now here we are again. Now just because it held in the past does not mean that it's going to hold this time around. But it's well worth knowing that we are once again on top of a support decision at least via the weekly chart in crude oil. Now I'm not seeing any buy triggers against this just yet, but um, how about the daily chart? One of the things that I'm looking at here is that recently, you know, we did fail at the 618 retracement, but there's also a possibility to see a zigzag or two-step pattern into support. And I do have some timing factors that come in right here right now with the histogram, 8th, uh, ninth, and then I also have some of the outright cycles that come due uh, looks like more like the middle of next week, August uh, 15th, 16th. So those are two time windows that I'm going to watch and anticipate a possible reversal back up. You may not get it, but the way that you make money with this work is setup plus trigger equals trade entry and then you manage it. So far we have the setup and we have some timing, but we don't have the trigger. So stand aside until you start seeing signals Otherwise, this zone may totally get blown away. Anyway, food for thought, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.